Hello Unity developer and welcome to a brand new VR tutorial series on how we can make a game using Unity and the XR Interaction Toolkit. In this episode we're going to take a look at the Unity setup, installing the XR Interaction Toolkit and getting Unity ready to develop for VR. I'm also going to be going over what we're actually going to be making. Let's dive right in. If you're like me and love everything to do with gaming, game development and new technologies, then check out my channel. I've got dozens of videos on how to create your own games and look the latest in tech. And if you like what you see, why not consider a subscription? Thanks very much and enjoy the video. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is actually install the Unity version that we're going to be using for this tutorial series. And if you go down to installs, you might be able to add in here. And the one you want to add is the 2020.3.1 F1. And this is the LTS version, which is the long term support, and which just means that they're going to be constantly updating and fixing bugs for this particular version. So once you've gone ahead and installed that, uh, if you're building for Quest, don't forget to install the Android um, build package um, and any others that you want to include with it as well. And then back in our projects, uh, this, is where, is, this is where all your projects are stored and kept. Uh, and what we can do here is we're going to go and create a new 2020.3.1 F1. Go ahead and click on there. And we're going to switch our template to the Universal Render Pipeline template and also give our project a name. I'm going to go ahead and call this Wild West Shooter. And then when you've done that, go ahead and create. And after a while, Unity will import some stuff and it'll all open up. So when Unity is all loaded up, you'll be presented with your sample scene and an explanation of the Universal Render Pipeline template. All good stuff. And then we want to go and click on Window and then Package Manager. Now we're going to get set up for VR. And to do this, we're going to click on the cog and go to Advanced Project Settings. And I'm just going to dock mine to the side next to the inspector here. Um, because the XR Interaction Toolkit is still in preview, we want to enable preview packages and go, I understand that this could ruin my life. Click on that. Uh, and then back in the Package Manager, you can go to Unity Registry, and now you can see you've got all the preview packages displayed to you here. And we want to scroll down to the bottom where it's got XR Interaction Toolkit. I'm going to click on there, click on the little arrow to drop it down, and we're going to want to check see other versions. And the version we want is 1.0.0-pre.3. Catchy name, and we're going to install that one. So I'll go ahead and install. I hope you guys are um, digging the new camera angle as well. I thought I'd just try and um, do something a little bit different. So now you can see the side of my face as well as the front of my face. And then you're going to get a warning box where it says, this project is using the new input system package, blah, blah, blah. And um, we do want to use the new input system, the new action based approach. So we're going to go ahead and click on yes. It's going to install some stuff. And once it's done, it's going to restart. When it's all back up and running and you're back in Unity, you can go down to where the XR Interaction Toolkit was again and click on the samples. And we want to bring in our default input actions. We want to import those. And um, this is going to be like all our action maps um, for detecting button presses and stuff on our controllers. We don't want to make these from scratch, so we're going to default the input ones. So bring in those. It's quite quick. It's done already. So you've got a little tick. Then we can go ahead and shut down the project package manager window. And back in the project settings, under XR plugin management, we're going to go ahead and we are going to install this. So we're going to click on install XR plugin management. And then you'll be presented with a couple of options. Uh, you've got your build targets across the top. On Windows, we're going to go ahead and tick Oculus. That's going to bring in all the Oculus related assets. Uh, and under Android, because we're building for Quest, We'll go ahead and tick Oculus 2. And then you see under our XR plugin management, we do have the Oculus appear just below. And all these settings, I would, I would just leave for the time being. Um, these are all good to go straight out of the box. We will go to our file build settings. And I'm going to switch my build target from PC, Mac, and Linux to Android. We're going to be doing it for the Quest, but we, we can still test it using the editor on Windows as well. And on texture compression, we're going to go to ASTC and we're going to hit switch platform. And it's going to do a bit of re-importing. Once that's all finished, we can move on to the next step, which is going to be looking at setting up our default input actions. So to get your XR rig set up, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new scene 
Uh, we're going to get a scene template. We're just going to create a empty built-in scene and go create. And this is going to be totally empty, no cameras or nothing. And you'll see here if we right, right click in the hierarchy and go down to XR uh, and we go to um, create a room scale XR rig. You can drop it down and you'll see that under camera offset, you've got the main camera, left hand controller and right hand controller. Uh, none of our actions are populated. We would have to go through and create all of these if you wanted to do it manually, um, which unless you're nuts, you don't want to do um, and that'll take ages. Um, there's already something we can do that's done for you. So let me show you how to set that up. We'll go ahead and delete that for a second. And we'll go and click on our samples. This is the samples that we brought in earlier. And you want to keep, keep clicking on it until you go all the way down to default input actions. And here you'll find input actions asset, which contains all the button presses for our controller, which is very cool. So these are all set up for you and they're all looking for certain types of buttons uh, on your devices. So we don't have to make any of these, it's all done, but we just need to get our XR rig to populate all that information for us. So if we go ahead and click on the XRI default left controller preset, and we'll click on add to action base controller default, click on that one. I'll do the same for the right hand, add to action base controller default, like so. And then under your project settings, under, let's see if I can remember this preset manager, we need to put in a filter for our new controllers. Um, so we're going to go ahead and put right in the right controller and left in the left controller. And now when you go ahead and create an XR rig in your hierarchy, you will see that you have everything populated for you. You don't have to drag in any of the actions. Click on the inspector and you go, you've got them all populated there, which is way easier. Move that across a bit so you can see. We've got the position, rotation and all the inputs all have um, a linked input action reference which goes back to our input action manager. That's cool. So that's set up. Now we're just going to jump into another quick Unity project where I'm setting up all the art assets which will just give you an overview of what we're going to be looking at creating over the next couple of videos. Let's have a look. So this is what we're going to be creating. Um, we're going to be creating a VR shooting game which I don't know if you've ever been to like a fair or like a theme park where they've had these Wild West shooters and it's kind of kind of weird um, but essentially you've got like a row here of like these guns that you can pick up uh, and then shoot the targets inside this little hut um, and then have like a, a reaction or an action play out as a result of shooting those targets and they're quite funny and, and comical um, and I thought this would be quite cool to make a little shooting game out of uh, but not necessarily all taking place in the hut it could happen all around you which would be quite cool and then this gives us scope add in things like um, shooting, picking up guns, teleporting around the, this little environment, pressing buttons, um, and then looking at how we can maybe use multiplayer so we can have different players shooting all at the same time, uh, all competing against each other, uh, and all taking place in this very small scene, uh, which my two top tiers of patrons, so I'm going to just give the, all the art assets and all the Unity projects as well. Um, but for those of you that want to follow along, I am going to do like some placeholder artwork so that you can uh, enjoy learning it all together too and not have to worry about missing out on anything. So let's quickly jump into the Wild West and we can take a look at this in VR. It should be all set up, kind of ready to go. This is no interaction in here, literally just uh, just the 3D environment I've been working on over the last couple of weeks. And you can see it's quite big in front of us here. There's probably space for like four or five players maybe. Uh, and then we'll be shooting and things will be going off inside the hut, which will be really cool. And then maybe some things going on behind you as well. You can see they've got a hitching post just behind us and got some of the, um, the cactus dotted around the scene. And then I spent really far too long um, just doing the artwork for this. But hey, it's a cool, pretty cool 3D environment. Uh, very, very simple one. Small, nice and small and contained. In, in terms of what we'll see, outside of this 3D environment, I'm not too sure yet. Um, probably something a little abstract, but I'm not sure how much that will clash with the artwork that we can see in front of us. Maybe we'll just do like a plain blue sky with some um, kind of cartoony style clouds, very much in keeping with some of the artwork that we've got going on in, in the scene already. So there we go. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This one is just a quick introduction in getting uh, Unity Project set up 
using the correct version, which is 2020.3.1F1. Um, and also installing the XR Interaction Toolkit and getting that all set up and ready. Then looking forward for the next couple of weeks, we're gonna be taking it step by step and building up our VR game bit by bit um, using all the common interactions. So like teleporting, picking things up, interacting with buttons and objects in the, in the virtual world. We're gonna be looking at audio, particle effects, socket interactors, and loads, loads, and loads more stuff. So if you're not subscribed and you want to follow along with these videos, then go ahead and check out the channel. And if you like the look of what you see on there, then maybe consider a subscription. Well, that's it for now. But for next week, we're going to go ahead and take a look at bringing in our grey box artwork that will allow us to start the foundations of all our VR interactions. I'll see you next week.